seems like there's no clear cut way or cookie cutter way to to implement these, uh, whether it's uh, solar plus storage, the storage part or the EV charger part, because I mean, I know there are uh, multiple, at least three, perhaps four different use cases for right. batteries, and uh, and also more than uh, more than two uh, two ways to implement uh, EV chargers and charge for it and. And, right, uh, and offer that service. So it's kind of interesting that we are at this transition inflection point of all these solutions kind of coming into our lives, but there is no yet winning uh, format per se. Um, though there are really yeah. high returns for investors, no matter which way you yeah. go. Yeah, uh, which is really the interesting uh, as aspect of all of this, because yeah. just doing the back of the envelope math with you on some projects, I know that there are very reasonable uh, IRR return rates for, for investors uh, on these kinds of projects. Yeah, there's a reason why the utilities make so much money. It's not because they're giving us deals every day. Um, so getting in getting in on part of that revenue stream is it's pretty significant. Um, yeah. And you know and one thing that I you know that I would add to that is that you know um, so you know, you mentioned that there's no real clear cut sort of way of doing it. At, you know, everything yeah, no, is bespoke. Co no cookie cutter format yet for right storage and EV charger solutions. Yeah. In However, I do I do feel that there is kind of like a a crescendo and a kind of a baseline entry point that all portfolio properties should have. You know, like that low hanging fruit of the common area meters. Yeah. Um, if your portfolio doesn't have that, it's like okay, you're behind the times in California. I'm just from a guy who's, on my perspective, you do need to get caught up. Yeah. Um, and then from there, uh, I think the conversation of tenant billing um, has to be had for multifamily. And it can be done in a, you know, a high ROI option where you own the asset, you take full benefit of it, you know, or you can do it in a no CapEx way where you spend nothing and you're renting a roof and you're just generating additional income. Uh, and that can be layered in with roof repairs. So you can then bundle your roof and your solar, get all that off of your balance sheet and start to generate that as a, as a profit center versus a cost center. Yeah. 